Hello and welcome everyone to seleniumelearn.com. My name is Karthik. Over the next uh, 10 minutes or so, I want to give you a very quick overview about the whole training program around Selenium Test Automation Tool. So primarily, this whole presentation is about three questions. What are we going to learn or rather master? How are we going to go about mastering this Selenium Automation Tool through this training program and some FAQs? So the intent of what we're going to master will start with the basics of ID, the Selenium ID. But more importantly, how do we migrate away from the basic ID to a remote control and a web driver? This is all accomplished through learning the basics of a programming language, uh, more importantly things like Java, JUnit or TestNG and other things like Ant, Apache and so on. We will finally apply all of this structure into how we can execute multiple tests on a grid in parallel using grid. So the process of mastering this whole Selenium falls upon multiple areas, but the most important aspect is how we're going to learn them. There is a collection of over 100 plus hours of videos that is comprised primarily about one section called the recorded topics, which is basically the end-to-end -end presentation about all the key concepts in a structured manner, or it also has a shorter versions of the whole training in about 15 to 20 videos each from uh, four different live batches. This is the core concept. This is what is common with the two different options that you get, either the live or the videos, but the videos will remain to be common with it. The most important thing about the video is that you can watch them, you can practice while watching them and you can repeat it and so someone who's beginning they can spend about 60 hours watching a 30 hour program or uh, someone who's a little more comfortable can just do a 30 hours watching and go forward with things. Uh, for people who want it to take a fast track either because they have interviews coming up or they have project work lined up, this is a great option. Apart from this, the next option is your live webinars. Here is where you are interacting with me in a shorter version of about 15 sessions where I go through some of the key concepts, take about three to four projects and go over these concepts in a very short period of time. Uh, they are scheduled in a specific uh, manner, about four weeks program in total. We do it on weekdays. You could look at the website seleniumelearn.com to look at when a next live webinar is starting. But the reason this is optional is because 80% of the participants only choose my video collection because what happens in the live webinars also get recorded and gets converted and put into my video collection. Apart from the core things that you're getting as learning package, you get your member community access. This is a group of all the members that have gone through this training so far plus a technical help desk team that is dedicatedly sitting to try and assist you in bringing you up with installations of different tools that we use and so on and the general questions that you get. Now the last thing and most important is that um, there's going to be a lot of focus in terms of tests and assignments so that you could assess where you are. Also in terms of placement services that is just started with seleniumelearn.com. So this is your entire package of how you're going to learn them. Now a quick overview about the video collection. The recorded topics of 40 hours starts with the ID basics about six hours of content there. Then we talk about how we create a simple RC level code using JUnit and Ant. Then we go into a little more rigorous Java JUnit overview. The core concepts of what you need to know from a Java programming language and how we learn them. Then we get into the project of data driven framework using RC. Then we get into another level of different project with data driven framework using RC and also a web driver. You will look at how a detailed keyword driven framework will be created and team these videos, these frameworks are very detailed. They start with the ground level but go to such an extent that you could take these readily, customize and deploy it for any of your projects as well.
A lot of focus on WebDriver uh, has been made. I've created an entire framework using WebDriver uh, for keyword driven framework and a detailed hybrid framework of how we combine all of them together. A lot of applications these days come with Ajax with them. The lot of dynamic things uh, in these applications, alerts or multiple browsers, web lists and so on. So how can you work with these dynamic situation applications? A complete set of videos is here. Then we have the test ng. How do we, what are the basics of test ng annotations? How do you create test ng to run? tests in parallel using a grid framework and so on. There is a collection on database testing. There are a couple of more new sections coming up on SVN Maven and also on flash testing videos. Apart from that, finally, I talk a lot about how you got to prepare yourself for your interviews, for your job, uh, how do you prepare your resumes and so on. That's the recorded topic. So someone looking at end-to-end -end can just watch these and master the tool. And the four live batch videos, for example, there are currently about four batch videos that are readily available. And as the new batch videos get loaded, you get access to them as well. So at a high level, some of the most typical asked question, what is the core focus? Core focus is real time project based training. We will start with the basics, but go extreme in terms of programming because that is going to be what you are going to get recognized by. Automation frameworks is the key. Once you know these concepts, you stand out in terms of how you present yourself in your interviews or your, at your workplace. The more importantly, how clearly can I explain and give you that knowledge on some of these complex topics? Very important to be able to give a very clear presentation to you on them. Any prerequisites? Not necessarily. Yes, you need to have some basic computer skills uh, like Word, Excel and so on. How web applications work in general? Nothing from HTML, deep rooted things and so on. Yes, as and when I want you to learn certain things, I advise you where and how to pick them up. It starts with a very, very basic level. 50% of my participants who join monthly are absolute beginning into IT, they are venturing into testing as an entry door into the IT industry and they all take up this course just because they know that this is a must needed tool for a good job in the IT industry and the software testing side. Uh, yes, you need to have a lot of patience because there's a lot to learn there's a lot to install in terms of tools and so on. There are documentation instructions. You've got to follow them. You will or may face challenges, but we will together overcome them. There are lots of support uh, uh, our teams that are putting in and also the documentation with it. Live or videos, very important question, but do note this team. We are moving into more of an e-learning world. The videos are core. You can watch them, repeat them, practice while watching them and so on. That's your core thing. The notion that people have that the live sessions are more interactive, you could ask questions, is a little different in my training because typically there are anywhere between 50 to 100 participants when the live sessions happen. And with such a large capacity, the reason I can handle is when you are attending or watching the videos, Everything seems to be good, but most of your questions come when you're practicing on this tool. Your Java questions, your frameworks, or your Selenium, different concepts, and that is where you have your group membership where you can post questions and also learn from the others. Live sessions is a small subset, this is 15 sessions that I go through end to end for a quick overview. All right, but videos are the code. You can always upgrade if you want to. So what does the welcome pack come with? When you join up the course, you get the installation documents, you get the access to the videos and how to watch them in what order and the group access through which you can start seeing what others have already gone through, posted, read those discussions. Also try and participate, post your questions, see uh, how the community responds back to you. Video now or live later, yes, you can always upgrade. Start with the videos anytime. Don't stop your learning saying that a uh, new batch is two months away and all that. If you're convinced that this is the program, this is the tool you need to learn, then just go ahead, take the videos because that is the core. 
Uh, QTP or Selenium is the other question. Which one to choose? It's a tough thing. Uh, the only thing I can say is QTP is much more older in terms of it's been there for over a decade. There's a large market for it, but yes, there are a lot more people with that skill. Selenium is newer in the market. It is open source. People say that it is open source, so there's no licensing fee. But over a period of time, this cost is not the main thing. It is cross-browser. It has got multi-browser. It can do parallel testing and so on. So there are a lot of differences, but in terms of which tool to learn, if you ask me for the best, it is both tools, but Selenium is a fantastic tool and it's so much in demand these days. You don't find so many skills and people with this tool uh, knowledge. So you have a distinct advantage when you go with Selenium, but I cannot just say QTP or Selenium. So, But if you want to learn both, do remember, do not attempt to learn them parallelly. Take one tool. Learn that, spend about four to six weeks on that, then move on to the other two. Q&A for videos, as I said, Google Group membership, that's the either the Google Group or a private community which I might move you to later. It is a group membership, that's where your questions will get answered. I also have a technical help desk team who are monitoring these questions and trying to assist you, improve these discussions and the documentation over a period of time. Uh, Jobs and resume help, there is a complete process that is started. I am focusing a lot in that uh, going forward. Uh, luckily, what has happened is my candidates, my trainees have really found success uh, in getting the job. I get a lot of inquiries because of the uh, output of the trainees that are coming out of the whole program and the demand that they're creating. The most important team, I want you to gain that confidence. Anything that we start to learn, this respect of where you are, it requires a challenge that you have to overcome. But once you go in a systematic, organized, step-by-step -step manner, you gain a lot of confidence. And that is exactly what you need to show when you get for interviews or when you get into your projects. You're going to stand out above the crowd and that's what you need. So. To get started, the only thing you need, apart from what you've just watched, is watch some of my demo videos on YouTube. There are over half a million views of my uh, half a million views uh, of these uh, videos. There, there are basic videos on ID, some on JUnit, and so on. That's not the entire course that's there, but you'll get a good overview of how the content is. So that's about it. Welcome to seleniumelearn.com. Any questions, feel free to go to the website and you could always reach me from there. Thank you so much. Have a great day.